be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with fire content just like this. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Basically, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is make high hat rows. OK, the syncopated high hat rows are here in trap music. We're going to be making those using the step sequencer. OK, now, if you're brand new to Logic Pro 10, um, let me just break down what the step sequencer is. Normally, when we want to make hi hat rows, we're going to go ahead and course create a track, put our hi hat in there and then go over here to the scissors and we'll use the piano roll to, you know, and hold down command and draw the notes in individually, things like that. But um, that can be time consuming and I'm going to show you a different way. So just basically um, once you create your your um, your new software instrument track. OK, and if you're brand new, you just click this plus sign software instrument, pull up quick sampler right under instrument. And then you're going to drag and drop, you know, a hi hat sample in here. OK. And then from there. Um, Instead of just clicking on piano roll right here, we're going to actually scroll over after you click on the scissors, you're going to scroll over here to step sequencer. OK, and pretty much we're going to be stepping in this, the, the, the row. OK, so let me just let you listen to this beat first and then we're going to identify where we want the row to go. OK, or the hi hat row to go. So check this out. So usually, if you look at the timeline here, usually like this, um, this is gonna the, the snare roll is gonna be like right before like a, a clap or a snare. That's usually where you put like a hi hat roll. So like say right here, it will start there. Now what you're gonna do is pay attention to this little white box right here, this little white outline, because that's gonna show you where you are in the grid. And you can just go ahead and push 64 steps. And what that's gonna do is give you a lot more detail to fine tune, you know, what you got going on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to follow this guy and this box and figure out where we want to put this. And also another thing you could do, see these two boxes, you can click on this. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. So basically, you're going to be following this guy all the way to the end. So like, let's say if we're going to start this, this the hi hat row right here, OK, which is going to be right here. And you see how you follow that white little box. So usually that's all you really need for a snare row I mean your hi hat row, excuse me. But I think that this is going to actually be going right before, like right when the snare is going. And so if we want something before it, we can go right here. And then you can also come over here and change the actual notes, for, you know, the, the, the sound of the note. So like instead of it being like a C, I can move this up to like maybe say an E. And you just got to make sure you're in the same um, octave. So this is the third, you know, C3. So you want to make sure if you're doing like an E, it's E3. All right. All right. So that's obviously not a good uh, hi hat row. What you're going to want to do to create one is come over here to the second option um, and go to note repeat. And basically, wherever, if you click on one of these notes and push up, the higher you, you, you scroll up on the mouse, the more fine tuned is going to break down this uh, pattern. So like, for instance, let me just show you. So I can start right here. I'm still have everything held down. And if I push this up, it's breaking that 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 sample down into multiple smaller pieces all the way down to like 16 notes. And pretty much you just got to click in here after you put this note repeat on. And let's 
So I just kind of clicked off those other ones. Now, that sounds cool. This is a basic hi hat roll, but it doesn't really have that vibe that we're looking for. So, like, sometimes you can also play around with this. Maybe go take it down some. So that sounds a whole lot better. Now, the only thing we're missing in this hi-hat row is some velocity changes. So what we'll do is we'll click on this and go to the velocity value. Instead of keeping everything at 100, you want to either go uh, you know, descending or ascending. So ascending like this or descending. So let's just go descending. And literally all I'm doing is this taking this, like clicking here and then hold, holding down the, the mouse and scrolling down like that. Or you can also like literally come over here on each note that's highlighted and push it up. So now let's listen to this uh, hi-hat roll. Okay. And basically, you could just keep on repeating this if you want. You have to keep on drawing it in. But let's say we want to put another hi-hat row in here. And say, say we want one right here. So um, And so what I'm doing here is I have this, just to break this down, I have another hi-hat pattern up here and I'm creating room for this hi-hat row by taking out those other notes here, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I don't wanna confuse you, but basically I have to do that in order to really get this rolling the way I want to. So we want this pattern to be right here. We gotta find it here though. So all we're gonna do is just press play and we'll wait till this box gets right right around right here. So it's gonna be right here. Okay. And then we're gonna repeat that process. Um, you can start off with velocity if you want. Just click right here. Move that up, slow them down. And then you're just gonna go right, like click right here and then go down to that note repeat. And then we got two snare rolls or hi-hat rolls in here. saying and so that's just pretty much what i wanted to show y'all is how you can actually do the hi-hat rows in the step sequencer um, using the step sequencer instead of the actual piano row if you all have questions leave them in the comments below also make sure you go to my site bemakingbasics.com we have courses for you know beginners people who are just brand new to music production i got a course for date for you all and then i also got you know a course for people who want to learn how to make beats in Logic Pro 10. Maybe you already know how to make beats, but you just need, you know, a little bit of more guidance as to how to do it in Logic Pro 10. Some of the tips and tricks and stuff like that you would need. I got a course for that. I also have a music theory course that's going to help you play any major or minor um, scale or chord. Okay. And it's a basic scale of chord um, using a secret formula. And this is going to definitely help your music to sound more musical. This understanding music theory, just with a super simple formula that course is in there too. And um, I also have like kits, you know, drum kit, a drum kit, melody kit. And without further ado, we also have that hundred K giveaway that we're doing. And basically we're not giving away a hundred thousand dollars, but on our road to a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away certain cool prizes that producers could really use um, at certain milestones. So our first milestone is 10,000 subscribers. And if you want to get enrolled or basically entered in to win, all you got to do is go to my site. Okay. And download the hundred K subscriber bundle pack. It's only $5 comes with a bunch of different sounds, a bunch of different tutorials. Plus it doubled down, it doubles down as your entry into, um, that giveaway. Okay. 
first giveaway, I'll go ahead and spoil that. You can you can read all of the diff information on my site, but the first giveaway, we're going to be giving away a pair of headphones. Some, I'm talking about some brand new, dope studio headphones. That's what we're going to be doing at 10,000 subscribers. So grab those packs, grab the courses and everything like that, and I will see you in the next video.